Hey guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon. So, Pixel is taking me to go get a new skin. <laughs> and I've also learned from Pixels that you can actually change your Pokemon's movesets by going to this button right here. And you can actually find out which moves that you've missed, or you can just cycle around them. For some reason, this Pokemon doesn't have Swift, even though it should in that list, which is very weird. I, I don't know why that is not a thing. But hey, I'm looking forward to getting the new skin. Uh, so he also told me that the Poke Coins are unavailable right now. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. All these skins actually look pretty interesting. But I'm I'm more than happy to get out of this one. <laughs> so we're just gonna be following him wherever we go, him or her, whichever one. Why are you so much faster than me? Those GM privileges. <laughs> Also, I'm level 16 apparently. And also, Pixel said that this is where you click on just to get the ads and everything. I know I couldn't read the language at first, too, so that was kind of weird for me. And there we go. Now we got, got it. Huh. Young athlete. Okay, let's make sure Pixel doesn't say anything in chat. All skins come from me out, is what Pixel says. Okay, so now that we have that skin, I'm guessing it pops up in our variations? Or is it gonna pop up in here? Oh, here it is. So now I can change between these. <laughs> nice. So there isn't one with Drake in it that Pixel knows of. I would love a Drake skin. She doesn't look like an athlete, I'm just saying. <laughs> also, if I go back to the museum with the three, three slots, I can pick up Pokemon I missed. Oh. Oh! 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 My dumbass just wasn't thinking that my party was full. Okay, thank, thank you for telling me how stupid I am. <laughs> I... I I was never thinking about that, to be honest. While I'm there, I can unlock the other region. Oh, so there is more regions. Ah, uh, but... Alright, okay. That's that's kind of nice already. Jeez. <laughs> so these are the gym badges. I wonder if he goes to a different region where the other gym badges pop up. Okay, let's, let's not get too ahead of ourselves and just try to go to the other regions because just because that's going to kind of overwhelm me a little bit. So we're going to, you know... Focus on this region fully, try to get all the legendary, all the Pokemons in here. That's literally going to be our main goal, is hunting down every last Pokemon that is within this region. Then, we're going to move on to the next region. So yeah, you guys are going to come with me on that journey. We don't have like every last single one of them, so I'm going to probably have to go into like caves and farm a lot for like um, stones and stuff, because a lot of these Pokemons evolve off stone. So, we're going to start from, well, actually, I can't even get the starters, so that's going to be an issue for, like, showing you guys animation-wise on that. But I can get these and level them up. That's at least my main goal, is just to catch everything within this region. And try and evolve all of them. Just so I can show you guys every last animation that is available. I assume you noticed the lack of water types. Yeah, yeah. There's also one more thing that I'm kind of curious about, is... Will, will they be doing, like, Mega Evolutions? Because that means players are going to have to search for those stones. Now, I'm not looking forward to Giga Maxing if he is going to do it in this game. Eh, Giga Maxing is just a weird concept that I'm pretty sure not a lot of people like. I mean, we like the Raid aspect, but... Yeah. 
I guess it's all right. It's known as resetting or soft reset. You place your trainer outside the spawn zone of a Pokemon and call out a fast Pokemon. I got Articuno, so that should be really fast. Call out a fast Pokemon and run back and forth outside the spawn line to quickly reset or spawn a Pokemon. This is also used for shiny hunting. Once you find it, you will have to lure it back to your trainer. So it'll catch it and does a despawn. Oh! Okay, so if I'm out of the range of it, then it kind of lures me out. Okay. I, I think I understand where this was coming from. So that's what a lot of people have been doing, actually. Okay. But they weren't doing that in the Articuno place, though. That was like a different thing that they were doing. So I'm guessing everything's local? There's a video on it somewhere. Okay, I'll, I'll search up the video. I, I definitely appreciate that information. Okay, I'm learning a lot from Pixels. So there's more things in this game that a lot of trainers have been doing that I have never actually just realized. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's gonna show me the locations of the other Pokemon. Okay, so he's gonna show me like the location of the other free Pokemon that you can't get. But he did say you can get the starter Pokemons in Pallet Town, but they are like a 1 slash 2,000 chance of spawning. So you gotta kind of do like a... No, 1 in 1,000 chance to spawn. Okay, let me go put away some of my Pokemon. Okay, he's gonna see me in that town. Alright. So the first town is this one. Ah, oh, there's Pixel. <laughs> Now he's gonna take me to the first location. Wait, is this the oh yeah, this is the one with the museum. So, yeah, this is the one he called me out on. <laughs> the freaking I guessing the fossil Pokemon that I missed like a dumbass. <laughs> I can't believe I totally missed this one. Oh god, her arms. The way she runs, I swear. So I'm guessing I go back to that Meowth every time there's a new day just for a new costume or a skin somewhat like that but there's some that you can unlock on like puzzles that he said because there's a one that's called the foreseer i think that's what its name is okay there we go my special self i i can't believe how special i am i want to see his design Ah, actually looks pretty nice to be honest. Very good job on this one. Oh wait, does he have a Mega Evolution or is it a different evolution? At least I feel like there is. I could be wrong. Okay, so that's the other one that transforms it to the one with like the little scythe hands and that's the one that's a little octopus ah okay we got those so here's where all the fossil pokemon are this is where i was last time but my special self totally wasn't thinking and we're not going to talk about it okay uh let me go put these away but yeah, you guys now know where all the fossil Pokemon are. What is it this one? Oh, the Pikachu. That's oh oh the Pikachu that was just hiding there. Okay, thank you. We didn't look at the other ones, but I'll I'll make sure to go back and look at them. <laughs> I love it. Wait, does he have both? Hold on, I gotta see this. Does he have Volt Tackle later? Nah, he only just has his normal stuff. Uh, I'm kinda sad now. But you need the stone to evolve him. Okay. Last stop, okay? I'm gonna grab 
these guys, just to show you guys those. Okay, the last stop is here. Oh god. Why did why does that one always spawn me looking up? <laughs> I always get so confused. Okay, so there's another secret Pokemon laying around. So we found the Pikachu. Hey hello Meowth. No matter how many times I go in here, this place is just really amazing. I like the little shades of lights that's supposed to be like implemented right there. Oh, because I paid to a lot attention to a lot of details. Oh, oh, what? Ah, hit my oh, hit my Lee and. I forgot the other one's name, actually. Hey, my chat. Okay. So this one... This is the design of that one. And... This is the design of the little squid. <laughs> Love how he just... <laughs> how he just moves. So how's this one's fighting moves going? Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, he still looks very creepy. How does he even eat? That's the real question. If anybody actually feeds this game this Pokemon in the game, I'm gonna question you just because that's gonna terrify me is to actually know it. Uh throw out this. Actually we're gonna hold that off. So you guys know that I like boxing Pokemons. <laughs> well boxing characters. So this one is pretty nice to me. I know he probably knows um, ice. Like ice punches, fire punch, thunder punch. If he doesn't, that would be kind of weird. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Sorry, he goes. Because I knew that he learned like so many like punch moves. Literally all his moves were punches back then. So he has everything a boxer would have. Agility, mega punch, all that. Pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna admit it, I would never have found these. <laughs> Especially these two. I would never have found these two. But yeah, it's how I find like a Pokeball. It's probably a Pokemon. They're mostly in normal Pokeballs, guys. So if you see a normal Pokeball, there's more than likely just that. I wonder what else he has to show. <laughs> but you guys already know where the Eevee is. The Eevee's in Pallet Town, inside of one of the houses that are at the bottom, which I can show you guys. It's it's in one of the open houses, as you first start and go forward. Okay, so Pixels basically showed us a lot. I gotta say, I'm enjoying myself. I just hope that a better skin comes around, to be honest, but hey, at least I'm out of the default skin. Now, that's all I can ask for. <laughs> Is there more skins scattered around the map? Because that's what Pixel say. There's skins like all over the map. And I want to know does it change like every single day if there isn't. Okay. So Pixel doesn't know if there are any more skins today. But there are one that pop up like every day. And they are different skins. He doesn't know where they're placed as well. He, he didn't place them. Okay. Noted. There are two for tomorrow. One easy and one an annoying puzzle. Okay, that's going to be fun. So, like always, guys. <laughs> if you keep the five lights coming, then we just keep the series going on. I'm going to go ahead and record ahead for when that moment comes. You know, you guys will probably see that in like three more videos for tomorrow because I'm recording these two videos today. So... Yeah, because I just had mixed 
met Pixel and I don't know if I'm going to meet Pixel like too often because I know that they're probably busy more more or less. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well guys, you all can thank Pixel for helping with this video. Pixel has literally just helped us find all of the secret Pokemon that are just laying around. First, a Pikachu, which is basically inside the same place where you get your starters, but yeah, basically go in and you turn right and go up those stairs. There are the fossil Pokemons, which are in the next town you run to. No, I think it is. Nah, the, it's like a few more towns you run to. And then there is the Hitmonchan and the Hitmonlee that are in here. And I guess I'll show you guys the Eevee, actually. So the Eevee, I had it found down here, and that was in like the first episode, I remember. So if you guys need any references, I guess you would go back to that. Because I'm not sure if it's the correct building that I'm about to show you guys. But it was in one of these open buildings over here where there's a table and there's just a random Pokeball on it. I remember it being over here in this section. I think this is it. Yeah, it should be on this table in here. Or at least further ahead. It's in the same layout as this. I'm sad that you can't sit in chairs. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see, like, everything they do with this game, bro. I am having too much fun. It's either on this table or on that table. Pretty sure it was on this one. But yeah, that's the models and what they look like, too. If you guys were curious about it. So, my goal for playing this game is definitely trying to get every last Pokemon in the game is showing off their evolved forms. That's we've already established is going to be my main goal of playing. And so every day we get on, that's going to be our objective. Now I'm just flexing and showing off. <laughs> so I can use Blizzard now. Oh, so what does Blizzard do again? It uses quite a lot of... Well, actually, I thought it used quite a lot of energy, but it actually does something way different. So I guess this increases ice attacks. That's what it's getting at. So I'm here... Right. Doesn't it does... Nah, that's hell. I'm thinking of hells. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. So this is basically past full, well, actually future wolf during this video. Uh, we're actually going to go look at some more skins. That Pixel is going to show us. So these are the skins that are open up today as in Saturday. You told me some two new skins were supposed to be opening up. But I never knew their location. Unless I got the ones. I got a Nurse Joy one, which I'll show later on. Which was in uh, Vermilion. Not, not Vermilion. Um, it was in a different city. I think it was like the second city you go to straight from Pallet Town. If you look on top of the roofs, you'll definitely see like a Team Rocket balloon. And there's like a little invisible stairs behind it. Yeah. That, that's where you'll find it in that back alley. Oh wow, it's all the way out here? I guess I should pick up the map so you guys can actually see the distance from it. And all you will see is this rocks and stuff. I feel I feel like Pixel has some kind of special boom of speed, I swear. <laughs> I definitely gotta wait until we are able to run faster, that's for sure. You can call in every last rock. Let me go ahead and do my ad and do my part to help the game. Ah, it didn't work. Not this time, at least. Mm -mm. The pixel is kind of talking to somebody about some serious stuff right now. So, 
Yeah, sometimes we'll be pausing and sometimes we won't. So I'll just basically just skip when it's needed. All right, we're back. But thank you, Pixels, for helping out so much. Even though you're a very busy person from what I can see. I do appreciate the help. Because I can never find, like, any, like, details on the skins or riddles to where you can find the skins or stuff. It's kind of just like you randomly run into them. If you're, ex if you're exploring the whole map, that is. You know how much time it takes to explore this whole map of the game? <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> Which is kind of nice to always have help looking for skins. I'm looking for our next best skin, dude. This skin just... Yeah, I like it, but it just doesn't fit me. Whoops. Got turned around for a second. Oh, wow. What town are we going to? What area, actually? Considering we can't see around. Oh, oh, oh wait. Hold on a second. This seems familiar. It's funny because I use flying types just to look everywhere, too. I don't even know what he just threw out. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was fast as hell. And apparently Mew is around here. Well, not around here. Around the map somewhere. I think it's like every like 800 kills on a Pokemon. It has a chance of popping up. Or either that's like shiny logic. I, I heard somebody talking about it. Like just kill a whole bunch of Pokemon and Mew has a chance to pop up. That's a lot of killing, to be honest, just for a Mew. <laughs> But it's a legendary and it is pretty rare, so. Hey, if you want to go for it, you can go for it. I think Pistol's just scouting ahead. Okay, he sent this to the wrong skin. <laughs> He's in the wrong skin. Yeah, definitely. I, I remember this place. He said it's still a cool place, though. Yeah, I definitely feel like I remember this area from something. But I think it looked a lot different. For sure. Huh. Interesting. Who shot auto follow? Just so I can message back. <laughs> there have been like a lot of players playing though. Uh, before I like started hopping on, there was like 70 players. Then over time it kind of went down. Guess people are just hopping on to trade and going back to the little hibernation hole. But Pixel says this is like tomorrow's location. Okay. Well, I guess we'll be able to figure it out where we go, then. Ah, is that a Sandshrew? Oh, no, let's go. Sandshrews pop up here, too. But, yeah, this definitely... Huh. I forgot what Pokemon are normally, like, in this area. But we're just going to follow Pixel. Pixel will take us random places that we've never seen on a map. Wait. Why does that look familiar? Wait a minute. Isn't this the place that's close to Elite Four? Or am I just thinking of something else? I think I'm thinking of something else. But it looks dope. Like, jeez. That is a lot of work. Whoever designed that... Fucking 10 out of 10. <laughs> Just all that modeling would be tedious as hell. That I do know. What are these little dots in here? What Pokemon are just sitting at the main entrance? 
Ah, Pixel's the one who made it. <laughs> Pokemon Stadium. Oh, jeez. I just had to tell him he's he did a great job on this like I actually want to see inside the stadium now so I'm guessing this is where the Meowth is going to show up tomorrow like hit him and his team are like doing some amazing stuff to be honest Oh, there's a Nurse Joy and a Teleporter. Wait, what? Oh, this is Sky's Battle? Oh, you can't actually come out here, actually. This is legit a separate... Oh, wow, okay. This is literally a separate Teleporter from everything else. But it's actually pretty dope that you could just come back here and just duel with everybody. Click these things. Oh! Oh, that's neat. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Holy shit. <laughs> My mind is totally blown here. Jeez. Oh, shuckle. Alright, let's get one shotted. Let's go. This is all I got. <laughs> Only have two Pokemon. It, it sucks that you can't, like, click somebody else and. <laughs> Aw, what Chikorita? Is it shiny, though? It's actually not. Dude, I love Chikorita's, like, design. The only thing I wasn't a huge fan of was the last of all form, because it just looks weird. Still not strong enough to take out me too. Oh, God. Oh no, he's worming to me. Not like this. Ah, what you want, dude? You want some of me? What's up? What's up? Yeah. That, that's all the damage I can do. Oh no, I fuckled with Shuckle. Wait, is he using um that trick move? I feel like he's definitely using that trick move. <laughs> there is no way I'm killing this thing. What was it? Power trick. That's what it was that Shuckle used. Oh, okay. Okay, it broke again. Oh god, he's so fast. At first. Yeah. There's no way I'm doing damage to that. Oh, I actually could kill. <laughs> oh, no. The GM powers is too strong.
It was super effective to my self-esteem. <laughs> oh, you can actually run on the field. I didn't even know that. I thought you were just, like, locked in place. <laughs> Dude, this map looks amazing. Oh, God. I don't want to fall down there, because then I won't be able to get back up. But, dear God, dude, this... This is just fantastic. I just just think about this. Like just imagine like a whole bunch of players just PvPing here. And oh god, he just gave the stats for the freaking shuckle. <laughs> Literally, mostly everything is just 2,000 on his um, EVS. Okay. Alright, dude. Fucking admin hacks. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so you gotta pick this. But yeah, just imagine people coming here to do tournaments and stuff, dude. Like, oh my god, organized tournaments could be fucking amazing here. The only rules would be that you only have to have, like, level 40 cap. It's Saturday, I can get a shuckle. Oh, so do shuckles just spawn on like certain days? Well, I guess it's going by the same logic that uh, modern Pokemon games do. Like, only you can only get certain Pokemons in the winter, summer, stuff like that. I guess it's the same thing with Ho-Oh. Since Ho-Oh is actually... Da -da -da -da! An event that only is in April, so yeah, fuck me, right? But the one thing I'm gonna try and figure out is how to get Celebi. That is my main goal because Celebi is my second favorite Pokemon, well, legendary Pokemon compared to Ho Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, this is Sky's Battlefield. I thought that was the Battlefield. What the fuck is this? <laughs> um, I feel like Rayquaza is just going to pop up just on the sidelines, just floating around, just a big-ass dragon. Dude, I can't. That would actually be pretty epic. You know what? What happens if I just jump off and end my life? Oh, huh? Ah, uh, you, you, you can't... Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> uh, I was hoping your Pokemon could, like, fly out there, but nope. They, they had me at the borders. The invisible borders that keeps me in place. Ah, uh, Pokemon Stadium. Duh. I, I'm over here getting, getting them all mixed up. But Sky's Battlefield definitely looks pretty damn nice, too. Jeez. Okay, so now we're going to go, I guess, get the skins. <laughs> we got distracted because Pixel went the wrong way. <laughs> okay, if I want to shuckle, I will go to Lavender Town. Okay. So we might as well get a shuckle because waiting a whole week and just forgetting about the shuckle is not fun. 
this is about as fun as if it hits April again, I'll probably forget about ho -Oh. And I don't want that. So just message me every time a legendary or Pokemon gets an event. <laughs> because I don't want to miss it. Especially if I got to catch them all. Okay, so I was right. He says if I head there tomorrow, there will be a skin. Okay, noted. Noted, noted, noted. Okay, so where are we going next? I like this skin too, just because it's like the facial expression a little bit. <laughs> just look at the little cat mouth. She looks so chilled. Oh, the little shiny. Come back here, rat. I'm an exterminator. <laughs> look at all the Arcanines. That's a weird shiny Arcanine. I wonder if, um, if the staff has played, um, what was it? Pokemon Vortex. Like the old Pokemon Vortex and will they put in like weird variations like that? Like ghost types, metal types, stuff like that. That'd be pretty interesting too. But then again, eh, eh that's actually kind of a lot of work as well. So <laughs> that's another thing. So you guys know how to get to Indigo, so tomorrow, that's where everything is. Seeing all these, like, so many random skins, so many unique people. Mostly, not everybody's the same. I really like this one. That skin's actually not that bad. No, so you can't just stand around AFK because the game will kick you out. Just because I'm pretty sure we only have, like, one server. So that just that one server will kick you out. I don't know if you can make private servers. I've heard that you could... That person's actually been sitting there for quite a while. So, I don't actually know. That face. <laughs> so, what's going on here? Can I just get a better view of that? Okay, so these are just people's rankings when it comes to, like, lovely. How much XP they have. Huh. I feel like I could might get up there. I could possibly get out there. Ah, the hobo. Fucking A. Somebody with a hobo, dude. I'm sad. <laughs> uh, my heart hurts now. See, dude, I would want to trade for a hobo, but I don't have the money to be throwing at people just to get a hobo, dude. Unless they farm so many that it doesn't matter. I will trade a level 100 Articuno for that. <laughs> I have if I want the greatest Pokemon of all times. <laughs> oh, I worked that time. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that's where you headed. So I'll be putting bits and pieces all over the place just to, you know, kind of line up the video. Uh, this part of the video will probably be at the end of the video. Just because, you know, I'm trying to get all the costumes and stuff out of the way. Then I'm just going to get all the other free Pokemon out of the way. So yeah, Shuckles are only 
on Saturdays inside a Lavender Tower. Well, Pokemon Tower. So, yeah. Just gonna skip ahead. Be right back. Alright, this is where we left off. Huh? Nani? Oh, we're Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim? Okay, so they have a lot of secrets just laying around through this whole game. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, not everything is what it seems when it comes to playing Pokemon MMO, MMO 3D. Oh, oh, well, I fell through one of the windows. Is there a way to jump out? Nope, I gotta go back outside. <laughs> well, windows are a thing. I didn't even know you could go through those windows. That's interesting. Never tell. But at least I know you can jump up the tower. I wonder if you can actually fight that ghost or something later on. So I remember seeing, like, I don't know which Pokemon it was, that that's an actual, like, ghost. I don't know if it's a hunter or anything. It looks like a quite unique Pokemon that you, you can't catch. Which I hate. I hate when they make Pokemon games and make Pokemon that you cannot catch. That's always been annoying to me. I mean, tradable, that's that's fine. That's fine. But, you know, just give me something I can catch. Okay, whoa, 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 calm down, character. Okay, what, what are you doing? Uh, oh, I thought I fell off the map. I was say, my character does not want to go straight. She just wants to go all over the place. Now, let's not touch anything. Let's just... Just light it up. There we go. Let, let's just not turn. Because I was using the directional key too, which is probably not the smartest thing to use. I'm coming, Pixel. Wow, this is going to be a longer video than I thought. <laughs> It's actually really tedious. And those windows can easily screw you over if you don't know what you're doing. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a secret secret floor. Oh, okay, that's weird. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, so it was a celebrity that I was using. Jeez, all that HP, and it's a raid, too. <laughs> That's the funny part. Oh, so he's gonna be the tank. <laughs> yeah, I probably would never survive this on my own then. I guess quite a bit of XP too. Alright, Shuckle. Okay, wow, that was a terrible throw. Okay, quite a bit of defense, like normal Shuckle. <laughs> Does he have power trick? Uh, well, not on that one. I never would have found a Shuckle at this point. That, uh, okay, mind blown. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that's all it learns, actually. Is Rock Throw and Withdraw. It doesn't have power trick. Oh. Neat. 
<laughs> Congratulations, you beat the game. <laughs> That's all you'll need. <laughs> Thank you. That that that's definitely all we needed. Actually, the stats aren't half bad. Um, that lowers my special attack. Is it um, rock throw a special? Huh. What the hell is that noise? Oh, somebody else is running around. Okay, I was really confused. Actually, you probably could have found the shuckle if it hits you through the ceiling. Well, yeah. If you, like, fly up. I guess you would find it by mistake. But, yeah, there are hidden Pokemons around as well. Neat. So many secrets. I guarantee you, P Pixel placed it here. <laughs> ah, unknown letters. Um, rest in peace. S O U K J E? No, G E? Or is that it? I, I don't know my unknowns as much as I thought I did. I, I want to say I'm somewhat close, but also far away. <laughs> no matter, either this or I'll just make like a whole separate video on this stuff. You know, just show off a few costumes and show off another costume in a different video or just show different parts of the map with pixel <laughs> oh why why do you do this why do you hurt my soul no what type it in discord why you bully me <laughs> oh my god, he looks so amazing too. Why, why you bully me? Actually, I wasn't as much of a huge fan as everybody else was with Lugia. I mean, Lugia looks nice, but I kind of like the dark one a lot better. But Ho-Oh was still my favorite. That's why I got gold instead of silver. I, every time, I'm just going to pick gold instead of silver. Are you reaching an a ATM over there? But no, it really... I, it actually looks really nice. I definitely like the way they did Ho-Oh. I'm actually wondering, like, all the skill sets that Ho-Oh has. But we can't look at it unless we have Ho-Oh. Ah, he's not tradable. Feels bad, mate. <laughs> I'm kind of sad. I was like, I'd trade you a shuckle for it. <laughs> well, that sucks. Once you cast Ho, you can't trade. But overall, the design of it looks fan freaking tastic. I'm not even going to lie to you. It looks amazing. Some with the little Pikachu running around. <laughs> Pixels is literally just making me jealous. That's all it is. Does it hurt to be jealous? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I won't even lie. I totally forgot about Tentacool. Wonder when it's going to be added or if it's added. Is it in like a certain area or something? Let's go check. Uh, tent, uh, well, it's not going to work if I just scroll. Just push T's and we'll eventually find it. Or not, never mind. 
Okay, so I guess it's not in the game yet. But it did... Well, Pixel did say they had a shortage of... Um, water types. So I actually should uh, should have known that. Can't wait to see how it fully looks, to be honest. Teddy Ursa is going to be an interesting one, too. But this is the roadmap, apparently. So I'm guessing we're already done with this one. Done with that one. And this is in 20? Yeah, this is in 2020. This one's in 2020. Because I think... I don't know if they're going by, like, uh, years? Probably not. Probably just, like, versions and it's just a coincidence that it's kind of there. There's another skin other than the nurse. He doesn't know how to get it, but he knows where it is. Just can't see a way to get up there. Oh. I like puzzles. So you know what? I told Pixel, just... Let's go to it. Because I have a feeling... That is probably just like really weird. Okay, so we're going here. Okay, where are Pixel at? Oh. Say, so yeah, I checked this place, so I guess there's something newish. They're really a huge fan of like invisible floors, too. Huh, okay, nah, this is not the city I was thinking of. So we're going across the bridge? Huh. Because the thing is, I like puzzles. I like trying to figure stuff out. I would literally spend hours. Oh, it's up there, huh? There's probably, like, a teleporter somewhere. Can you jump up it? You probably could, like, at a different angle. There also could be, like, different types of ways. I want to say, back in the old days, if they still had, like, from what I've seen, people with your character teleporting. I was looking for the best places to, like, I was literally looking for the best places to farm. And people were just teleporting to different spots with their characters. But now that your character stays in place, I have a different story. I feel like there's something here. Okay. So this is the meow for supposed to be getting to. Make sure there's no invisible walls or anything. Cause there could be a visible wall up above to where you have to drop down right there. Okay. Not well there guys, this is the next location. Oh god. Stop freaking out. Or it could literally just be 
platform this. About to say, yeah. Platforming that and getting up there is probably the best way to do it. Huh. Let's see. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's what I mean about the invisible stuff. They really like their invisible, like, stairways and cases. Like I said, I like puzzles. I like to solve them. Now the only challenge is getting up there. You can kind of barely see it right there, too. Just because it kind of blurs out the um, space. Which is be weird if it was completely visible. Okay. It's right about... Okay, go up. Thank you. Right here. And it goes directly right here. Where's my trainer? Okay. There we go. Now we got a platform. Ah, huh, okay, so there's different sides we have to go on. Or, oh, never mind. It's just kind of, kind of weird jumping obstacle you gotta do. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. We're almost there. Even though Pixel kind of figured it out before me. I figured they were going to try and make it harder and not, like, really easy to get to. So it had to be on the other side of the bridge. Oh, God. <laughs> I fell off. I was so close. But you guys know how to get up there now. So I'm going to just go ahead and probably skip to me getting it. So right here. Hey, you guys are probably thinking to yourself that that's really difficult to see. How do you see it so easily? Once I know where a location is, it's just because I've been playing like a lot of games like that. Oh, it's the character. Once your character moves one direction, it goes the other way. That's okay. Basically, in short, don't use your keys. Full on use mouse control. Because if you use your keys, it's going to be a lot more difficult. From here, you can't really see it too much. Until you like start to get really close. Like that. So it's got a, like really good shading. And that's like a really clever bit of shading. So yeah, see? Don't, don't use your left and right keys. Just use your normal keys to rebalance yourself because your other keys really screw you up to be honest you could just let go of this a little bit because I'm always used to adjusting myself with my uh, AD keys I gotta stop that especially when it comes to this game and platforming I think it's on that side, actually. Huh. Or either they have another invisible. They probably have another invisible. So it's probably right there. Just in case. 
Oh, can, can I get up in the air? Gap, gap, gap. Okay, yeah. It's like he doesn't want to go up in the air. Alright, there you go, buddy. Yeah. Right there. There's nothing. So I see what he means now. And yeah, there is no other way unless there is a platform right here. Hmm. Huh. So even if you were able to get up here, it's still going to be pretty difficult to get up to the top. I have a feeling there's something out here. Huh. Hopefully this isn't just an unfinished puzzle. I know it's not, because that would make no sense to put it up there if it is unfinished. <laughs> Well, my art, art does not want to fly right when I'm zoomed in. On this side, I don't see anything. Nothing invisible off to the side. What if going back? Right there, it's like a secret button or something? No, no secret buttons right there. What if, all along, there was something more dastardly here? Making you think that that's one way, but it's actually coming from a different way. I definitely feel like I'm being debated here. You know what? I feel like... Hold on a second. Uh, no, you have to be really up close on it. Excuse me? Felt like I saw something. Maybe it's like even more invisible than those. So I felt like I saw something. Okay, so I understand why Pixel doesn't know how to get to this. Because it's actually very clever if there's something else to this. I feel... Also, I feel like um, one of the puzzles... Well, one of these spots in the game is actually another secret puzzle. I mean, this would make no sense just because you can't interact as a Pokemon. Huh. And the other one I'm talking about is, um, let me just go ahead and show it. You guys know where that skin is. You guys got to figure it out as well. I don't think anybody else has figured it out. And other people have probably been playing so long to the point where they probably already got it before like patches and fixes and stuff like that uh and the thing i was talking about is in actually inside the pokemon tower uh you guys have seen me explore the pokemon tower before is that weird um symbol i feel like that's like a time event like a certain time in a day event just because i've seen multiple people use it for like um 
Celebi. But that would make no sense since Celebi's in Johto. So, yeah, I figure I feel like it's something else that I'm looking at here. Where is it? I know it's on... Okay, it's on the next floor. Oh, no. It's actually not on this floor. No, it's in here. I'm not crazy, because I can look at the last video. Oh, it is a time thing. Because it should be right there. Unless it's up here. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, I feel like this is a time thing. Or you have to have a certain Pokemon on here. Don't know what it is yet. Can you not? Learn from your mistakes of challenging me. But yeah. This is definitely a puzzle or something. Has to be. Because we know by now that the devs like to put in puzzles. Oh, you're to think I one shot it under the stairs. But yeah, as I was saying, the devs like to put secrets everywhere. So I'm sure that's probably either a puzzle or just there for design. To be honest, I haven't played in. Pokemon in such a long time that I feel like that's one. I just get stuck. God damn it. <laughs> well, guys, hope you all enjoyed this episode. I, like I said, I tried. <laughs> but at least we know where tomorrow's skin is. But hey, it's, at least I showed the location and everybody can try and figure it out. So yeah, that's Saturday's spot point. With that said, until then, peace out.